Well, seniors in Park Rapids will soon have a new place to call home. Haiti Clatter shows us how the Crystal Brook Senior Living Center is one step closer to being home sweet home. Park Rapids has become a destination city for seniors and retirees. By listening to the needs in the community to better serve the aging adult population, home care service provider Knut Nelson is expanding. We've explored this over the last couple of years, as I said, with the community and looked at market need, and it became to fruition that this was a great place to build a senior lifestyle community. Canute Nelson has served the Park Rapids community for the last five years. Now they're breaking ground on a 143,000 square foot senior living center. It has about 88 units. Uh, 19 of them are uh, memory care assisted living, 59 assisted living and independent living units. It was a two year time frame for the Crystal Brook Senior Living Center and a groundbreaking celebration drew in community supporters like Bill and Aubrey Harsha who will become future residents. As we get older, snow, grass. He's, he's, 80, he's 80, no he's going to be 90. The couple has already signed up to make Crystal Brook their new home. Yes. Got my name in the pot. Once complete, the $18 million Crystal Brook Living Center will have state-of-the-art amenities, including a fitness center, club room, underground parking, and a car wash. Many years ago, the Harshas owned the property where the new senior center will now stand. To know that it's going to be used by these people and it makes me feel happy. Anderson says Crystal Brook will improve the everyday life for seniors. Through those programming, we will be able to provide a higher quality of life for those seniors. Crystal Brook Senior Living Center is expected to open in the fall of 2018. In Park Rapids, Haiti Clotter, Lake the News. The new center will provide about 40 jobs in the Park Rapids community. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.